Interesting. Thank the Lord for this opportunity. 
that he has given us that we may be able to continue with our training on the hygienic restaurant work. Now, um, yesterday we, we talked about uh, the introduction to hygienic restaurant work, its objective, uh, goals and mission. We also talked about the location where is it located in the cities to reach in the cities we are not to live there as our abiding place but it is our place where we are god has placed us to reach and to warn the cities of the impending danger and not only warn them but give them the character of jesus christ that they may see it, they may test it, they may hear it. That is our work in the cities. And uh, we also talked about um, those kindred uh, institutions that are connected with our hygienic restaurant. We found food factories, we found schools, what else did we find uh, did we find is connected to the hygienic restaurant treatment rooms and publishing work and even sanitarium work is connected to the hygienic restaurant and uh, the schools uh, the larger schools which teaches skills and uh, also uh, gospel work need to be established in the in the rural districts and publishing houses should be allocated in areas that are accessible and peaceful another uh, institution sanitarium are to be situated outside the cities in the rural districts or areas that are far away from the influence of the enemies and a place where there is nature, natural environment. The treatment rooms are found in the homes, are found uh, connected with the, with the hygienic restaurants in the town. And uh, the food factories, this can be situated. Uh, hygienic restaurant can have a bakery. A bakery is part of the hygienic restaurant, fully uh, a factory that bakes and prepares nice whole bread and cakes or biscuits or crackers for the people, it is an outlet, a food outlet. And we also mentioned the, uh, the seed banks. Do you know seed banks? Seed banks are areas where seeds are preserved. We can have them in the rural districts or areas where people, the people of God are growing foods in the country places and they are made ready for those who are willing to have or to grow uh, food they can obtain uh, seeds in those local areas or in the hygienic restaurant so one of the work you're going to do is to make ready the seeds the seedlings and be able to demonstrate to people uh, uh, farm work uh, or demonstrate to people simple ways of growing food. Do you know that you can grow food even in the towns? There is a way you don't need to get a, a big land. You, you can grow uh, you can grow crops in tins, in containers. Have you ever learned about that? 
that is the work of a medical missionary or the one who is doing the work in the hygienic restaurant. That place also, because you're going to teach people healthful living and garden work, you must be able to avail to them or direct them where they're supposed to, uh, to do the work. So there should be a portion where you sell seedlings and even seeds, organic seeds, indigenous seeds and seeds that are so productive. You need to be able to direct people or instruct people on how they can control pests and diseases and soil preparation measures. That is the work of an hygienic restaurant manager or worker. So don't just concentrate your mind on food preparation of juices and bakeries or confectionaries. You need also to be, uh, you, your mind, your mindset, or you must have a broad spectrum of this work. Are we together? Well, so that is the nature of the work there. Now, in the hygienic restaurant, we establish that we have workers. One of the workers in the hygienic restaurant, guess who? Number one, a cook, an hygienic cook, um, a Christian cook, someone who can cook. We must, we can have a baker. You know, even in cook line, there are people, there are different kinds that uh, people have a uh, great talent in. Some people can bake well, proficiently well. Some people can just make salads and juices and mix them very well. So here at the end of this training, you shall have known which line you can do better. Can you present um, nice bakeries? Is God calling you in that line or calling you in if it comes to using and doing other things, you are super there. If it comes to cooking and preparation and food combination, you have tested and proven different kinds of foodstuffs. It is a place of experiment. Did we read that? There are two statements that were tied to that. There was studying and experimenting. So, you must be ready to study and experiment and doing it daily, every day. You have been challenged yesterday that you must come up with something new. If you are a mother in the house, you should come up with something new every day, at least to present to your family. Well, so we have also a patron. Did we mention that? Yeah. We are going to, in, in the class for today, we are going to delve uh, majorly on the duties of these workers and their characters, what qualifies, qualifies them, and social uh, or morality matters in this institution. Because if we don't understand that, then we are born to fail because we have not known the attributes that makes us to qualify and to remain and sustain the work. We have the patron and the matron. And these people are those who are elderly and they are a people who must be uh, mature and full of doing good. They can do good, they are full of charity and patience. The people who are going to uh, instruct the youth who are working in this institution. The matron may be the wife of the patron. And there are, there can be managers for the restaurant. The manager should also be a married person, someone who is mature. He knows how to, uh, uh, he knows how to come up with the projects and what ought to be done. We also have um, 
in the hygienic restaurant or workers connected with the hygienic restaurant is a Bible worker. What do you think is the work of a Bible worker to the hygienic restaurant? We, we studied about doing Bible studies. So here, you may have people who are interested. And in fact, you need to have a form where those of whom you find interested can register. And then you offer a class unto them. Um, we also have physicians. A physician must be connected to the hygienic restaurant because you are going this hygienic this physician is stationed there in the hygienic restaurant his work or her work is to cancel and is to is to instruct and give uh give amicable solution help to 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 help problem of the people who are coming and this is where those who have been doctor you say they have some who have resigned from the worldly system and want to work as uh, physicians. If they're doctors, they, their work is to, and, uh, is to instruct and give a counseling on health principles and give diagnosis and prognosis me um, measures or procedures to these people who visit the hygienic restaurant. A nurse can be connected to the hygienic restaurant. You know who a nurse is? A nurse is not, may not be gifted uh, uh, superiorly like a physician. Her work, she may know how to describe some, uh, some uh, remedies or counsel, but there are some advanced stages of medical missionary work that she cannot do or he cannot do. They are stationed there in the hygienic restaurant. Now in the hygienic restaurant, uh, we need to have a, a grocery. And guess who manages that grocery? A garden missionary. A garden missionary. And this garden missionary, his work or her work is to make sure that there is a farm somewhere where you grow food products. And these food products are presented to the hygienic restaurant. And then it is used or it is sold to the people and also used in the treatment room in the hygienic restaurant. Are you following up? These are workers that need to be thought of or placed in the hygienic restaurant. Now, we also need, um, uh, in the hygienic restaurant, uh, we may need uh, other lines of work in which that, that we need uh, workers who are gifted in those lines to, uh, to work there, a musician. Did we read that yesterday? That in the hygienic restaurant, there should be music should be given and talk should be given. A connected with the hygienic restaurant is a musician. <laughs> Someone who can sing well and not just to entertain the guests who come, but to sing Christian music that are not CCM. Do you know CCM? Christian contemporary music. The voodoo type or a syncopated uh, music. No, that is not supposed to be presented in our hygienic restaurant. The music should be presented in a solemn manner. So, um, Advanced hygienic restaurant should be having musicians and with music instruments so that the people can learn how to, uh, how to uh, do Christian music that is proper. Now this hygienic uh, 
uh, uh, restaurant worker, so those who are connected with hygienic restaurant need to know their duties and supremely uh, what they are supposed to do that is going to qualify them for the service of God and also to make sure that this work continues uh, with success. We want to make sure that there is the presence of the Lord. You know, any institution that is not having the presence of the Lord is just operating as Babylon. Are we together? But we don't want Babylon ideas, Babylonic ideas or behaviors or manner of reasoning in the hygienic restaurant or this institution. You, this institution must be a pure sanctified ministry to God of the third angel's message. And so uh, yesterday we, we tackle, we, we began tackling some character qualities of, uh, of these people. And uh, I mentioned that, I mentioned that they must be a people who have a close connection with God. Close connection with who? With God. The workers, we who are here, who are qualifying for this work, we must know the part that we play uh, in enhancing the kingdom of God. We must be a people who are connected with God because without that, it is bound to, to fail. Uh, in HF, HFM, Health Food Ministry, Health Food Ministry, uh, page three, or oh, not 314. Sorry, not 14. Uh, the workers who are here must have uh, spiritual uh, prowess. HFM 17.3. Now, these are helpers and listen to what uh, they need to know. We have managers of our restaurants are to work for the salvation of employees. Now, this is the work that need not to be neglected because I tell you, if you go to this institution, you will be damn busy until you forget that the work you went to do is to save soul, not selling food. It's not like a medical missionary who is selling herbs and selling herbs and is absorbed in selling one or prescribing herbs. Now, we may also be stuck on the line of selling food to an extent that your mind is just ringing with the prices and, and the giving out of food. Now, who will come to the rescue of the helpers or the workers in this area? There need to be appointed someone who is wise, who is intelligent to know that my workers are spiritually astute or they are strong in the Lord. And that is called a manager or a patron or a matron. The managers of our restaurants are to work for the salvation of the employees. They must not overwork because by so doing, they will place themselves where they have neither strength nor inclination to help the workers spiritually. Uh, spiritually. Now, one of the things that we, are, we want to avoid is overworking. The people connected with the hygienic restaurant will, and it is possible to overwork, and it is always a surety to overwork. And how do we solve this? Situation, there must be many workers. There must be many workers. If, if you only have two or even three or four workers in a hygienic restaurant that is ever busy, those people are going to be overworked. Now, this is where the church needs to play in to see, to develop school after school. Connected with our hygienic restaurants is 
schools. Why do we establish, uh, establish these schools? To educate and to recruit more, more workers. And we don't need a large or huge hygienic restaurant. It needs to be some, uh, a small, simple one. Yes. So um, actually, in one town, is it possible to have even three or four in a town? Yes, it is possible. Because if it is one and the whole town comes there, let's say lunchtime, you, you have a side of people about 50 or so, these people will be overworked. So we need to have established different branches in different areas so that the workers are not overworked. When they are overworked, their spirituality will go, yeah. will go down. So a manager is appointed and this manager should not overwork himself. The workers themselves should not be overworked. They are to devote their best powers to instruct the employees in spiritual lines, explaining the scriptures to them and praying with them and for them. Are you seeing that? So we don't just have to leave our youth in temptation there must be a mature person. And I'm telling you, this immorality or moral aspect of values are really degrading the work of God. Many people do not know how to choose, how to make decision. And more so, uh, uh, because it is involved, youth are involved, there will be, they may neglect the work and begin uh, beginning courtship and marriage in the institution until they are absorbed with the work that they cannot do the work rightly. We don't want that. And how do we solve that? There must be a mature manager. Yes, and uh, they are to guard the religious interests of the helpers as carefully as parents are to guard the religious interests of their children. Are you seeing that? the manager must guard those who are working there patiently and tenderly. They are to watch over them, doing all in their power to help them in the perfection of Christian character. This is a great work, my friend. And uh, their words are to be like apples of gold in pictures of silver. Their actions are to be free from every place every trace of selfishness and harshness. There should not be harshness and selfishness. You need to be someone who is patient, this manager, someone who is very patient, someone who knows how to talk to the youth and encourage them and restore them. They are to stand as minute men watching for souls as they that must give an account. They are to strive to keep their elders standing on vantage ground where their courage will constantly grow stronger and their faith in God constantly increase. So like held here, if you people establish a hygienic restaurant, your work is to make sure that the workers in that place are constantly or spiritually mature. You want a worker, if you tell, if you ask her or him about Daniel and Revelation, they are able to explain and say, I don't know that. They are supposed to be having time of meetings and of prayer to encourage them uh, in the line of God. It continued to say in 18.1, unless our restaurants are conducted in this way, it will be necessary to warn uh, it will be necessary to warn our people against sending their children to, their, to them as workers. So parents should also understand this line of work. Never send your child to a place or to work in a place where there is no director who will direct them in the path of life. Many of those who patronize our restaurants to, do not bring with bring with them the angels of God. They do not desire the compassion of these holy beings. 
they bring with them a worldly inference. And to withstand this inference, the workers need to be closely connected with God. So we don't need or don't want a worldly inference. Do you know some of the worldly inference that can be seen in our hygienic restaurant? The manner of dress, the way, the conversation. What are you speaking about? Are you gossiping about others? Are you evil surmising these characters? Are you angered? Someone comes, a, 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 um, a customer comes and sees oh, these people, they are fought somewhere or they have disagreed. The influence of the heaven is not there. Those who come to this restaurant must go out knowing that we have met angels in the form of men. And so people need to be actually, let's read Colossians chapter, uh, Colossians chapter three, the character that uh, these people need to make demonstrate in our hygienic restaurant is a higher of a higher caliber. And each and every one of us must work towards achieving the character because it is a class, it is a school, it is the providence providential place that God has given you to perfect your character. In Colossians chapter three, if you begin from, uh, from verses eight, oh, from verses seven, in the which you also walk sometime when you live in them. And then he says, but now you also put off all this anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds. Purity of life or of character is needed in our ID Christian. You need to be very patient. You need to be very kind, forbearing with one another, and verse 12 says, put on therefore as the elect of God, holy and beloved bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfect we are not working in these institutions to be children of the devil. But God is calling you into this institution to perfect you, to make you fit to be in heaven. Why do you think that Jesus Christ has started long to come? It is said that Christ is testing his people to see if they can live in harmony without revolt. So that it doesn't take people who are going to be in heaven to bring revolution or to revolt against his kingdom. And what agencies that does God choose to help us to solve this situation? Number one, he brings us in families, in families to test whether we can live in heaven without revolt. Number two, bring us together in the institutional work to make sure that, and to test us that we can live in harmony and amicably solve the problems that may arise. And by the way, these problems, the elderly person or the, the manager should be very quickly, quick to note Quick to note, from the very instance you get into the hygienic question, you should know that there is a problem or a problem is building up. So you need a lot of wisdom to know this. Well, as we continue, the managers of our restaurant must do more to save the young people in their employee. They must put forth greater efforts to keep them alive spiritually 
so that their young minds will not be swayed by the worldly spirit with which they are constantly brought in contact. The girls and the young women in our restaurant need a shepherd if every one of them need to be sheltered by home influences. This is the danger that we are having or we may be exposed unto as the young men and women. So we need the elderly people in our sanitariums. Now there is danger that the youth entering our institutions as believers and desiring to help in the cause of God will become weary and disheartened. So one aspect that we are going to find there is discouragement. Some people are going to be discouraged by maybe the manner of interaction there or being wearied by the work. And sometimes uh, they will, uh, some people will, uh, if they are not treated well, they may lose hope. These people need to be supported and they really need to be supported because this work, uh, sometimes someone can be discouraged, supported spiritually, physically, and mentally so that they can be able to stand. Uh, it also says that um, they may lose their zeal and courage, growing cold and indifferent. And we don't want that in the work of God. In fact, if that begins, you know that the revolution, the pride and the fall of, the pride and fall that brought uh, Lucifer down is already being manifested in the hygienic history. And once this is manifested, God is not in it, whose effort is, is in there, Satan's effort in manifestation. So you need to be very careful. Uh, we cannot crowd this youth into small dark rooms and deprive them of the privileges of home life and then expect them to have a wholesome religious experience. Now, um, when we are posting workers there, we want to limit, not even limit, we want to remove any thought of um, evil appearance. Do you know what? Do you know what evil appearance means? Evil appearance. We don't want it. Where uh, maybe a young man and a young woman are working in a place and, uh, and uh, actually they are always together. This is where now we need to make sure that either two or three gentlemen and one lady, not a lady and a gentleman. It will be in a dangerous position to bring these people to temptation. Are we together? So all manner of evil appearances must be dealt with. Yes, yeah, so uh, we have to cover the workers there. Uh, it is important that wise plans be laid for the care of the helpers in all our institutions and especially for those employed in our restaurant. Good helpers should be secured and every advantage should be provided that will aid them to grow in grace and in the knowledge of Christ. They are not to be left to the mercy of adverse circumstances with no regular time for prayer and no time at all for Bible study. Never leave them to a hazard what? Circumstances. Because once they forget to pray, once they forget to study the word of God, what will, what will, what will be the outcome? The devil will take root and they neglect their work and many manifestations of evil will begin in the institution. So when left thus, they become heedless and careless, indifferent to eternal realities. Uh, with every restaurant, there should be connected a man and his wife who can act as a guardian of the helpers. I've seen the divine 
model or pattern that God wants us to operate. We don't want to give the devil a leeway, a loophole. No, connected with that hygienic restaurant is a, as a guardian is a married woman, a man and a woman who love the savior and the soul for whom he died and who keep the way of the Lord. The young woman should be under the care of wise, judicious matron. That is helpful ministry, page 19.1. In fact, in your time, this is your course book, which book, Health Food Ministry. Health Food Ministry. Another book that you need to read is uh, STPB, Special Testimony to Ministers, SPTB, uh, SPTB 6 or uh, 15, 16 and 17. So you read, yeah, that, that is a pamphlet of its own, SPTB series B 16, no, 15, 16, and 17. Go read those. It is a counsel to the sanitarium worker said those, uh, uh, those attributes are also applied to those who are uh, operating in our hygienic restaurant. There, there should be high morality standards. And that is why to limit the attributes of certain or evil appearances, mostly it is easy to operate them with those who are married so that you don't expose uh, the youth into danger. Now, the young man uh, read that. Yeah, the young woman should be under the care of a wise judicious matron, a woman who is thoroughly converted who will carefully guard the workers, especially the younger ones. The workers have to feel that they have a home. One of the duty of, a, of an elderly to this institution is that the workers are at home. And when you are at home, you feel that you belong there. All the favorable conditions are set in place. They need not to operate as if um, those who are employed in the other hotels, they, they can do mischief. Some will run with some products. Some will go with the money. Some will trick the employee, employer. They need to know that they are at home and make a little heaven on earth. They are God's helping hand and they have to be treated as carefully and tenderly as Christ declared that the little child whom he set in the midst of his disciples was to be treated. And then down there says, the care that should be given to these employees is one of the reason in favor of having in a large city, several small restaurants instead of one large one. You now get the point? Yeah, that care. So we are not just running to hygienic restaurant work. Oh, it is a good message. We are going to, uh, to do it. No, there is a plan for it. All that are engaged in that work are to be saved. And so there is a mechanism to save them. Don't crowd the people together. Don't overload, overwork the people or the youth or the employees. And so we need to have several different one in different places. But this is not the only reason why it will be best to establish several, uh, several small restaurants in different parts of our large cities. The smaller restaurants will recommend the principles of health reform just as well as the larger establishment and will be much more easily managed. So we want easy management. What do we measure on? Reaching to source and salvation of soul. 
And so we want to make sure that we have uh, developed um, institutions that we can easily manage. More so the workers, the, the care of the workers. These workers are not to be left just like other hotels outside there. Then it says in HFM 20.1, if we fulfill the purpose of God in this work, if we fulfill the purpose of God in this work, the righteousness of Christ will go before us. What will happen to us? Yeah, the righteousness of Christ will go before us and the glory of the Lord will be our reward. Which of us speaks about that? The glory of the Lord being our reward. Isaiah chapter 58, verses 9, verses 8 to 12. This is the proclamation of the Sabbath message in a practical manner. This is the third angel's message. The light of the third angel's message will go forth in the institution, uh, in the establishment of the institution. And so make sure that when, when you are in this institution, your work is to proclaim Isaiah 58. But if there is no in gathering of souls, if the helpers themselves are not spiritually benefited, if they are not glorifying God in word and deed, why should we open and maintain such establishment? Do you get the question? Mm -hmm. If we don't have the spiritual aspect in establishment of this institution, never begin. Because you will be continuing Babylon. Babylonic ideas. Never begin until you make sure and you are assured with God that you are working in the farm platform. If we cannot conduct our restaurants to God's glory, if we cannot exert through them a strong religious influence, it will be better for us to close them up and use the talents of our youth in other lines of work. So sad situation or statement. But our restaurants can be so conducted that they will be the means of saving souls. Who are the first souls to be saved there? Yes. The workers. Let us seek the people honestly for humility of heart that he may teach us how to walk in the light of his counsel, how to understand his word, how to accept it, and how to put it into practice. Are we together? Yes, yeah, so we need to understand that part of caring for the workers. Every institution must be ready to care for the workers. And this must be put in place to make sure that the work is a success. Now we are going to stop there and do have a break of 10 minutes and we come back for another 30 minutes and then we'll close the class of duties and characters of workers. May God bless us in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Our most gracious Father over in heaven, we thank you for this opportunity that you've given us. Lord, we pray that you continue to educate us in this line and give us power to do that which you want us to achieve to the world. Let your strength and wisdom continue to be manifested in our lives. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen.